let's move on to staircases and railings. I'm gonna hide this first floor slab with my spatial tool. I'll hit Shift T to turn my spaces into a wireframe. I'm also gonna enable my first floor drawing such that I can trace out this staircase. I need an opening on my slab or to edit my slab profile, but I'll just add an opening. With my BIM tool activated, I'll press Shift O, then in X-ray mode such that I can select all my vertices when I hit Tab, I can then correctly edit the geometry of this opening, which is just a cube. Well, it was a cube. Hit Tab to finish editing, then maybe out of this X-ray mode, we'll select our slab and we'll hit Shift O. This will apply it to the slab. I'm gonna place my cursor on the ground floor and with still with this generic BIM tool, I'll look for stair flight and I'll hit OK, create new type, use straight, even though it doesn't matter right now, the type template will be stair and we'll call it ST01, save new type, we'll add it. There it is. Now it needs to be the other way around. Maybe in a top view, I'll do it better. GY. We have the correct number of treads. What we need to edit will be the height and the overall dimensions. So I'm gonna measure the distance between the ground floor and the first floor is 3.2. I'll go back to my stair flight and under geometry and materials, you'll find parametric geometry, stair. I'm gonna edit the height to be 1.6. The width will be one meter. Let me go back to the top view here. Base slab depth will be 0.2, top slab depth 0.2, and we'll hit finish editing. We should now place a landing. For this, we'll need a slab. We'll add a slab type here, maybe get it a bit higher. Press tab to edit the profile. Top view again, go into edge mode, select this edge, GX, GX, tab, there we go. Now, I also need to go up my landing. So I'll duplicate this existing staircase, shift D, then I'll raise it by 1.6, RZ 180, and there it is somewhere down there. I'll now just move it across here. Let's look at this. Yeah, everything works perfectly. To avoid any falls, we're gonna add some handrails to our staircase. Toggle the generic BIM tool, launch the type manager, look for railing, hit OK, railing 01, um, railing, then save new type. I'm gonna activate this railing and under geometry and materials, railing, I'll change this to be wall mounted handrail. And I'll hit on finish editing. Then I'll just place it somewhere here. I can hit tab to edit its path. I'll go into vertex mode. Then I'll select this last vertex. I'll hit X to delete it. Then I'll select this one. Well, how high is this? Let's get it at one meter high. And then this point will go all the way up to the wall. And then I'll make it touch the floor and hit GZ one meter as well. Then tab and there is my railing. I can move it GY. Then I'll hit tab again and I'll select this vertex, go in a top view then I can extend this point and put it up there. Take it back minus 0 0.85. And I'll hit E again, this time with X all the way down there. I'll zoom onto this vertex, hit GZ. Well, it's not going all the way down, is it? So GX all the way down here, then GZ and GZ by one meter. Okay, there we go. Now our railing 
path order is wrong. And here we flipped it and they're all attached to the wall. To avoid any falls, we're going to add some handrails to our staircase. Railing type R02, save new type. And we'll add it with our cursor here. Shift add. And we can also edit the path as before. I'll just delete this vertex. Now with this one here, I'll go on the top view. I'll select it, go all the way down there and hit Control R to loop cut this segment. And I'll have two equal panels there. Shift D, RZ 180, GZ. Now we need to group all these objects into one single staircase. I'm going to put my cursor down here without any BIM tool activated. I'll hit Shift A and add an empty. And I'll go to Object Information, IFC Element, IFC Stair. OK. The predefined type is Straight Run Stair, Assign IFC Class. Then I'm going to select my stair flights, my railings, and even if I had a finish, maybe. And then I'll select my empty and I'll hit Shift E, assign aggregation. Now, this empty object is effectively our stair, which aggregates all these parts. Whilst we're at it, we may also want to change the spatial container of our stair to be on the ground floor. Assign container. With all your objects selected and a BIM tool active, you can hit Shift Q and this will calculate the relevant quantities. Now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot my landing. I'll also assign it to this and I'll show you a new shortcut, Control P. I also edited my path again to make it more neat. Our staircase looks quite dull. Maybe we'd like to add some materials. I'll first select my stair flight type such that I can add the material to the type rather than the instance. And I'll hit plus on this C3540. And when I select the staircases, they'll have the inherited material. I can do the same for my rating types. And then for my aluminium, I'll just use for my instance, it's okay. Now, these materials already had styles assigned to them. So this means that everything pops out of the box. Maybe with some lights here. Okay. Now let's go into workbench mode. So under render properties, change the render engine to workbench and copy these settings, get out of these BIM tool modes, hit Shift A and add a little camera, then we'll hit Control Alt 0, then I can go to View, Viewport Render Image, and maybe without the axes and everything, and also an option I have is Film Transparent, which is important, so View, Viewport render image. 